Hey there, Unsolved Mysteries fans. Uh, just like I promised, I'd be back with another video here. So, um, alright, so this video is going to be about um, the Blind River Killer. Now, um, so this case happened in 1991 in uh, Blind River, Ontario. So, uh, this is basically how uh, the stiffness of the case goes here. So, on June 28th, 1991, Gord and Jackie McAllister were a married couple for over 30, 39 years. They were asleep at a rest stop in uh, Blind River, Ontario, when a man claiming to be a police officer knocked on their door around 12.55 a.m. When Jackie opened it, he had two guns with him and demanded all of their money and valuables. He then proceeded to shoot her in the chest. Uh, Gord was able to jump from the motor home and hide under it. At around the same time, Brian Major, who was 29 at the time, arrived at the rest stop and was also shot down by the gunman. Um, he did try to look for Gord, but then he got into his um, he got into his van and then drove off. Gord tried to get help, but Jackie and Brian were already dead. Uh, although Gord was wounded, he survived. A witness later came forward, claiming that he that the gunman had nearly hit his car shortly after he left the rest stop. Uh, Gord helped the police make a computer comp composite of Jackie's killer. He is described 5 foot 10 with a slight build, long stringy blonde hair, and approximately 30 years old. He has never been found. <coughs> Sorry about that, excuse me. Um, so the results, it's, uh, it's still unsolved, however in 1999, a suspect was named. A former police officer named Ronald West is also suspected in a double murder in 1970. As of 1999, he was in prison for a string of ro uh, robberies. In 2001, he confessed to the 1970 murders and is serving two life terms. He has not, he has not been charged in either uh, of Jackie or Brian's murders. Um, Gord later remarried, but unfortunately he has since passed away on February 14th, 2012. So it's, it's kind of a sad end to that case. Um, basically my thoughts on it, um, about this Ronald West guy. Um, well, first of all, you know, if you look at the um, at the composite which Gord had helped make up, and then there's another picture of him on on this page. Um, the face and the eyes and are really similar. It's, it, it's really similar, and also you think about it like you know he was a former police officer. Um, he'd been arrested for a string of robberies. He'd been murdered before. I think I also read one time that he had a van that was like the one which was involved in this case. So you know, you just you think about that, and um, and you know, like you look at the same picture, like it seemed like this guy probably could have did it. Um, um, will we ever know if he did do it or not? Um, probably not. You know, if he did do it though, you no, know, he's already in prison. And, you know, he's serving time for what he's done now. Um, it's kind of sad that um, Gord McAllister never um, really found peace um, with that whole murder. It's, it's good that he uh, remarried and everything. It's just, it's a sad ending that he passed away. And, you know, he never really knew who his uh, killer was. He never found out who the killer was and everything. Uh, so, yeah, you know, it's just, um, it's kind of a sad ending to that case. And... You know, with this uh, Ronald West guy, you know, he definitely looks the part. Um, the similarities between how this guy said he was a police officer and how Ronald West was actually a police officer in Toronto. Um, and that he'd, he'd done robberies before, he'd killed before, so just those, um, just those factors alone makes me think that he probably did do this, um, this murder. Um, so yeah, this is just kind of a short video on that, uh, there's not really a whole lot to talk about about it, just that, um, so yeah, um, if you, if you enjoyed this video, um, give a like, if you want to discuss it in the comment section, feel free to comment, I'll, re I'll reply back, and if you subscribe back, if you subscribe, I'll subscribe to you, and, uh, you know, we're just, we gotta keep these case, you know, we gotta talk these cases, and, you know, Try and figure out new tips, you know, and keep Unsolved Mysteries alive, you know. 
that's the main reason why I started doing this um, this series was because you know so many people um, I'd noticed in um, Nam's Noodles video about the um, about the Unsolved Mysteries clips being taken down you know there were so many people trying to find links and and whatnot and you know you still can find links on YouTube of the show it's just you really have to search for them and everything um, and you know it can be hard to find them but um, you know that's basically why I started this series was you know for for you guys for guys like me that enjoyed the show and that enjoyed looking over the cases and discussing them and thinking thinking the theories over and discussing the theories and discussing you know the suspects and who might have did it you know that's basically my whole reason for doing this series and you know just to keep the case alive and you know maybe if uh, we can make a difference in this who knows you know um, but yeah you know um, if you like this video give it a like comment uh, subscribe I'll subscribe right back and uh, I'll see you in the next video